Dream Nights for us tonight for a lot of reasons. For a lot of reasons. First and foremost, the Dream Nights for us tonight because it's a district night. It's the only games that matter on our schedule. We put all those other on the schedule so we can just go out and have fun with it. All right, but we got district games on our schedule so we can go out and fun playing football at the highest level when it means the most. All right, that's why we got district games on our schedule. All right, so it means the most. It means something. It's a big night for us tonight, first and foremost, because we're playing a district game. It means a lot that way. Number two, it means something else. Just because you're playing a game, you only get 10 of them. You're not even guaranteed that. You play a non-district game on a weather night, they might not even give you that one back. So there's only 10 on your schedule. You gotta earn anything that goes past that. You gotta earn anything that goes past that. Football games are precious. I've coached every sport. You know, and sometimes you play a game and you're like, all right, hey, you took that one on the chin, we'll just rally it up, we'll get back together, we'll play the next day. All right, we'll go out and play baseball the next day or shoot hoops the next day. We'll get them, we'll get them the next day. You don't get a chance like that. You get once a week that you get a shot to get them. You get once a week that you get a shot to get them. And then number three, this is homecoming night. You get once a year, as Purdy just said, seniors, you only get one shot at your senior homecoming. There's a couple dates that you circle on your calendar. There's a couple dates that you'll remember, and it's your homecoming game. I can tell you everything about my homecoming game when I was a senior and in high school. I can tell you everything that happened on that particular night. I can tell you we won the district championship that night. I can tell you we beat Zephyr Hills that night. I can tell you Tom Hebert, my best friend, scored a touchdown on 38 pop, going into the end zone. The guy speared him from behind with his helmet right in, the, right in his back at the end. Tom had this huge hematoma on his back, and he loved every minute of it. I can tell you Tom went on to the military, went on to, uh, to, uh, to, to the Army, and that Tom is, uh, is a colonel in the Army right now in North Carolina. All right, but I can tell you everything about our homecoming game. I can remember everything about it. So you circle that on your calendar, and particularly if you're a senior. But here's what I want to talk to you a little bit about tonight. And this has to start to seize inside you a little bit. This has to start to bubble to the surface a little bit as we get ready to go play. And that's when you say that it's a homecoming night, what does that mean? When we say that people are going to be in the stands tonight that are coming home, what does that mean? People think that home is a place, and it might be this locker room. And we got beautiful things in this locker room, and we made things meaningful in this locker room. But to be honest, the building itself doesn't mean anything. It's those things that have seeped off the wall, and it's not just dirt and mold in our walls here. It's blood, sweat, and tears that have been put in here. Home is where your heart is. Home is about what you feel inside. Home is a sense of belonging. Home is that this is my place. This is where people accept me for who I am. I'm a football player. I got some different talents than other people have. I'm bigger, I'm smaller, I'm black, I'm white, I'm Jewish, I'm Christian. I'm a running back, I'm an offensive lineman. Whatever it is that I am, all the different characteristics that I have, when I'm home, someone accepts me for who I am. Someone knows that I have a place of belonging. Someone wraps their arms around me when something goes wrong. Someone loves me up because it's my home. That's what football is more than anything else. That's why homecoming is important in football because it's a place where you've got a home. It's a place where you have a home for the rest of your lives. Someone came the other day and said, Coach, can I come in the locker room? One of our former players. I said, this is your home. You don't knock on the door. You come in any day you want to. This is your home. And what you're doing is you're creating that right now. You're creating that right now. But that's not created by someone going out and giving halfway efforts. That's not created by someone not standing up for each other. That's not created by not landing on the line for everybody that you've got. Home is only created by blood and by that blood that you have on the football field. That blood of your family. I got my family here. Coach has his family here. Coach has his family here. Home is in those families. And you've got a family right here. And people say, oh, not blood family. That's a bunch of bull, right? Who here hasn't shed some blood for each one of us on the field? Who here hasn't done that? That's blood relationship right here. That's blood relationship right here. So tonight you go out and play with that sense of belonging, that sense that I have a place, that sense that I am at my home. I am at a place where I belong. I am at a place where people accept me. I am at a place where I embrace everybody else on my team. I am at a place where we are going to kick some ass tonight. Let's yeah! go!